Jack Eusen was a gunner's mate aboard the USS Samuel B. Roberts. During the Battle of Samar, the Roberts and the rest of the task force, Tappy 3, were left to defend against a heavily armed Japanese fleet. We could hear something like this, boom, boom, boom. That was the Yamato letting go with his 18-inch shells, and we couldn't do nothing. I was on the 40 millimeter. There was no aircraft in the fight. This was all big guns. A direct hit to the Roberts blew the after turret off the ship. Eusen's two best friends were among the casualties. Oh, I said, oh my God, they're gone. And then I knew, boy, this is for real. It's gonna be a fight to the finish. Determined to make an impact, the Roberts captain, Robert Copeland, attempted a torpedo run. While steaming within range of the enemy fleet, the Roberts passed the severely damaged destroyer USS Johnston. It didn't even look like a ship anymore. The bridge was gone, two, two turrets were gone, it was on fire, and when we get closer, I, I, one guy says, look at that, the captain's on the, on the fantail, Evans. And uh, he saw, it's common, and he's, look what he's doing, he's, so he's saluting Copeland. He went by and saluted our captain. I'll never forget that as long as I live. The Roberts launched three torpedoes at the Japanese heavy cruiser Chokai, while the five-inch guns worked overtime at close range. And then we just started with our five inch now. Now we were in close. Paul Henry Carr, his gun fired 345 rounds during that little time we fired. They were firing like it was a machine gun. You can see those eight inch guns, let them go, and it came right over us. <laughs> Finally, we got another hit. One went right through the goddamn bow, an eight inch shell. Of course, they were using armor piercing shells, and it didn't, it didn't even blow up. Too thin, you know. <laughs> Went right out, and the bow came out of the water, you know. And that was it. Captain Copeland ordered the crew to abandon ship. The Roberts sank, while 123 crewmen clung to life rafts for more than two days before being rescued. <laughs> 